Here at ClipChamp, we want to be the video editor anyone can use, no matter the language they speak. So our team is saying, Sayonara, to the old, and, Hola, to a new and improved version of text-to-speech. We now offer 170 new, high-quality voices, matching the patterns and intonation of human voices for a natural sound. There's also the option to choose feminine or masculine sounding tones. We've also made a big improvement by upping our language offering from 1 to 70. Now, no matter where you're editing from, you can transform text into speech in the language of your choice. Just some of these include French, German, and Portuguese. So, now for the walkthrough of this new update. I'm going to use text to speech to create a voiceover for this video I'm editing. And for the purpose of this walkthrough, I've already added my video content into my media tab. So, firstly I'll head over to the record and create button. Once I've selected that, the text to speech button will appear, so I can go ahead and click that. Here you'll see the options to choose your language and your preferred voice. I'll jump into the language tab here, and now a huge list of over 70 different languages will appear. All I need to do now is scroll through the list and choose my preferred language. Under the voice tab, I now have a list of options including different masculine and feminine voices and accents. So I'll quickly jump back into the language tab, and for this video I'll choose the English, Canada option. I'd also like to use a more feminine sounding voice. Another awesome new feature we have is speed control. I can now set the pace of my sentence and can experiment with the speaking speed slider. Next, I'll head over to the text box and I can start to type out exactly what I want my AI voice to say. We recommend doing this in sections so that you can place your recordings into your timeline individually. This ensures your recording will match the point in your video and will save you from having to re-record. Now, I'll simply hit preview to playback what the text-to-speech will sound like, and I can make edits, like changing the speed or voice, if needed. Here, you can see I've increased the speed of my text-to-speech, and I'll also experiment with a different voice until I'm happy with the recording. Now I can go ahead and hit save to media, and my recording will automatically upload into my media tab. I can now add my recording into my timeline, and I'll drag it to the correct part of my video. Lastly, I'll play back my video to check my recording matches correctly. I'll quickly follow the same steps and add in my last text-to-speech recording to finish off my video. Now that my video edits are complete, I'll go ahead and export it by clicking export, and then continue. It will take a few seconds for the export to finalize, but once it's complete, it will save automatically to my computer. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for tuning in, we can't wait to see a whole new group of users from around the world exploring text-to-speech in new languages. So, au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Adios. Entotzins.